very special place, but I am waiting for the bus right now. I am going to take a bus from Maynooth to County Offaly. I'm so excited because Offaly is where most of my Irish best friends are from. It's out in the country. It's just such a great place. I always have the best time there and honestly, I'm just I'm really excited. I'm not excited about this window because it's really windy and it's making it really, really cold. So hopefully this bus comes. We're off to find another Irish castle. We're in County Offaly right now. We're outside of Tullamore. Are we in Tullamore or outside of Tullamore? I'm just outside of Tullamore. We're just outside of Tullamore and we're finding another Irish castle. What's the history of this castle? It's called Charleville, and that's about as much I know about it. Why do Irish know nothing about their castles? I know the family that owns them, they used to own Do people live here? Yeah. People live in here, so I don't know how close we're back to get to the castle. I wonder how they feel about a drone. No. <laughs> it literally says no drone. No drone zone. Oh god, I'm doing it again. Why is every place in Ireland so muddy? Where are we right now? This is Bura. County Offaly. It's technically a national park. We've come here a ton of times every time I come here and it's really pretty and it's a fun place. We usually cycle here yeah. so this is the first time that we haven't actually cycled. I don't even know if the bike, bike job's closed. Offaly is famous for its bogs, right? Is it, that... has, it has a lot of bogs. Yeah. Is it the county in Ireland that has the most Tell you what Offaly is famous for, having good looking ginger lads. How are you not? <laughs> this is moss, guys. Joe. Well. Still me, still me. Still me. <laughs> it really... is only exist in certain areas of the world and Ireland is one where it exists a lot and people figured out that if you dug it up and did certain things to it you could burn it in big power stations and get electricity out of it and then that's what they did here on a huge scale for about eight years. It started in like 1920s and 30s yeah. on like a small level and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger and then they dug away so much of this area that they, all they had left was all this empty space so they just turned it into a nature reserve and a park. That's what it is now.
history lesson right now. This is where I was saying, this is, see up there, the height of that? That's about eight, nine feet. And this stuff, they just dug it all up and then they used the locomotives that we saw back up there to bring it to the power station. But this height was out for miles that way, out for miles that way. And over about 80 years, they just dug it all. And that's why they just had all this empty space. So as high as I'm up now, but down about 10 feet, it used to go out that way for miles and miles and miles. But they dug it all up with machinery and they used these locomotives behind me to transport it to power stations, burnt in the power stations and turned it into electricity. And that's how Ireland, which had no coal or gas or anything like that, that most countries had that used to generate electricity. That's how Ireland, without bringing in loads of coal, were able to make their own electricity network. And that's a brief history of peace. Power station. The power station. That's how we get electricity. Boo!